I'm now going to show you how you can add some flexibility when you're using changeover relays um, with open and closed contacts. So I'll show you an example of uh, what we sometimes get. I'm going to place a relay coil in there and I'm going to double click and assign a part number. So I'm going to search and I'll find a number on MY4 AC24. There's lots of different types so I'm going to choose this particular one and I'm going to click on OK and see that it comes in showing a list of changeover contacts. So I may not want to use these but if I go into functions and into complete so this is in the standard or the advanced version of V7R2 and I pick up K8 which is the recent one I only have a choice now of changeover contacts. So I can pick those and place those and everything's fine but that might be showing open and closed and I only want to show it that I'm using the open or the closed on its own. Now if I try and replicate that, if I go into relays and go into relay contacts normally closed, place it in and I call it K8, straight away the software says that's not possible because it's not expecting a normally closed or a normally open, it only wants a change of a contact. In the database, functions and database, functions, find type, I'll put the same one in there, AC24 and select it and this has got the parts information, I'm scrolling down, going to the defined channels and I can see straight away this is already set up and it's saying use a relay coil with relay contacts change. So what we have to do, <coughs> very simply, is take an open and a closed relay contact and we have to then explode and if we take a normally closed, now the order in which these are assigned is common, open, then closed. So what I'm going to do is explode both of these. Let's take the uh, open first. So the order is um, <coughs> common, open, closed. So what I'm going to do is just simply copy, holding down control and dragging one of the connection points. And I'm now going to window around that, right click and say block. But this time I'm going to pretend that it's actually a changeover contact. And on the connections, it's going to be common, open, and closed. And the closed one I'm not interested in. I'm just going to turn it off. And you can see the software is now happy to assign connection points to that. It's using the open contact, and I'm just not displaying the third connection point. So on this one, I'm going to do the same sort of thing. I'm going to drop that one over there and drag that down, <coughs> window round, and I'm going to block this again. Relay contact change click OK and this time common open close. So I'm going to leave it with just the close contact showing 11 and 3 in this case on this one. So basically we save some open and close contacts as changeover contacts so that they look the same but the software is happy to accept those in the group. So what I can do is create a new group in here, call it changeover, I'm going to drag the first one in there and call that CO for changeover. I'm going to drag the next one in and call that NC and the last one and call it NO. And now we can use any of those in any order and the software will accept it on that device until it gets full and in that situation I then do get an error and it's valid because I've gone over the number of available contacts.